Greetings, and welcome to the Open Minded Skeptic Podcast. My name is Sharon Ann Rowland, and I'm your host. It's the 1st of March 2019, and it's time for our monthly review podcast. This time, we'll be reviewing four supernatural apps the Spells and Witchcraft Handbook app, iAura, the Paranormal Camera, and last but not least, the Ghostbox E1 Spirit EVP app. Sounds great, doesn't it? Let's begin. App 1. Spells and Witchcraft Handbook. Enter the world of magic with this book, containing plenty of spells for all kinds of needs. Spells can range from simple incantations to complex magical rituals. Abracadabra, Abraxas and Hocus Pocus are well-known examples of verbal spells. A spell can be anything from a prayer to a heartfelt wish. Spells can also be amulets, talismans, voodoo, dolls, wangas, fetishes, mojos, potions, powders. In fact, a spell can take a number of forms. From history and general general knowledge about witchcraft to spells, this pocket guide contains information about the basics, how to cast a circle, charge an item, or consecrate an object, candles, the types to use, colors, and their use, colors, magical meanings of them, herbs, oils, sabbats, of course, the dates and symbolism associated, as well as stones. I gave this four stars and a magical rating. Look, it was an excellent reference guide for the beginner witch and or Wiccan. The app would also be useful for anyone researching spellcraft or the basics of witchcraft. The spells included in the app use minimal ingredients and supplies and wording. Perfect for the modern witch and or wizard who is time poor but still wants to practice the arts. The app also provides overview information in relation to candles, colours, herbs, oil, stones and the sabbats, that's the feasts, which I mentioned earlier, which again for a newbie is important to know. It's also important to not skip the basic section as this covers how to create a sacred space and how to cleanse and to charge an object to be used on a particular sabbat or, of course, in a spell casting. Four stars, magical. App number two, iAura. Little overview, snap pictures of your friend's aura with this very modern app. Just take a picture of anyone you want and iAura will read their aura and compose a beautiful image of their unique energy. Now we gave this two stars and we said it has potential but it, it's not quite there, that's, that's the reality. This app is a little too easy to use, just point and click to capture a photograph of the intended subject or of course yourself and then click again to analyze the subject's aura. A few seconds later and the picture is transformed showing the person's aura and presenting its overall meaning. Uh, A lot cheaper than visiting a spiritual shop and also much more convenient and you can do a daily mood test. As I said, I I still think I prefer a one-on-one experience, but um, if you are a very modern type of person, this is the app for you. App number three. The Paranormal Camera. Overview. Add spooky ghosts to your photographs, including zombies, ghostly apparitions, tortured souls, and more. Again, this was a two-star. It's beginner fun only, um, and really not for anyone serious about the paranormal. Our next review was done by Rick Burden of the Down Under Spirit Team. 
Um, it was, here's the review, purely for fun and for people who like to prank and not take life too seriously. Any serious paranormal investigator would steer clear of this app. I manipulated a photograph of my sister with the app and then posted it onto Facebook and waited. The response was almost instant. My sister rang me really upset and demanded I take the photograph down, even after I explained it wasn't real. Before I did take it down, I noticed I got a good three comments telling me how fake the ghost looked inside the photograph. This was a pity. I thought I had placed the ghoul in a believable spot. Only downside to this app is the limited amount of ghosts that are offered. You need to pay to access more spirit images. Would I buy the full app? Yes, to prank all my friends next Halloween, definitely. Thank you, Rick. And finally, our final app, Ghostbox E1, Spirit EVP app. A uh, little overview. Ghost EVP slash EMF radio has been developed for exciting paranormal detection and exploration. Lots of exclamation marks in the explanation. We've put a lot of effort into making the app easy to use so that both professional and enthusiastic paranormal researchers and ghost hunters can enjoy it. Well, this one got three stars because it was so simple to use. Um, I'm, and I would recommend it. I've used this app sporadically over the past few weeks in a variety of different locations and I, however, I have yet to get an actual hit. I'm not sure if I'm paranormally challenged here, but nothing seems to be happening when it's in recording mode. However, the app itself has a number of reviews that are positive, highlighting a range of activity experienced by other users. Um, from my perspective, all I can really review the app on is its software and usability, and it's simple to use, um, the reporting looks great, and the on-screen guide and help explains the various sections of the main screen and their various toggle app abilities uh, sufficiently. I am, however, looking forward to taking this along on my next paranormal investigation or even a skywatch to see how it performs in the field. Well, that's all for our podcast. Thanks for listening. And remember, if you want to support what we do, then share, subscribe, and leave a positive review over on iTunes for the open-minded skeptic. My team and I look forward to entertaining you once again in our next podcast. To check when our next podcast is, simply head over to www.tomspod.com. That's www.tomspod.com.